Hello, welcome to this second video, video tutorial on QVTO. Today we are going to talk about query on QVTO. Yeah. What are queries on QVTO? Actually, queries are just some simple operation that allow us to perform a query on an object without applying any transformation to it. It means it just shows a read operation. How does it look like? A query will look like will have the following format. As you can see here, you have the query, the model. Then the name of the query, the parameter, the type of object that you are trying to query here, and self that will refer to the object. I mean to our model, and we are trying to query all the members. This return time means that query get all members from model that have the type class and where the name is equal to our parameter now let us go and make a small demonstration in the previous video tutorial we had a small transformation model to model transformation in that model we add uh, we add this model with a single class person and we had to transform this class into a target class and this is how our code look like then but today we are trying we will try to do uh, the same thing but using a uh, query but uh, to start let us create a second class Class, let us name it human so now our model is having two classes one class person and the second class human now let us apply our previous transformation on this model and see what will happen if you just select our source mod source model run the transformation then and our first target model is yeah yeah okay as you can see our target model is returning two classes you are successfully converting the source model into a target model now suppose we want to convert a class transform a class called person into an association class <coughs> to do that we will have to make some modification in our previous uh, transformation now let us uh, we want to have a mapping here you will have a mapping so if you just copy this mapping here we want to have a mapping that will convert transform a class to an association class let us call as class to association class and here you write association class here our mapping is ready now we don't need uh, this mapping anymore we can remove it 
now uh, let us come here before going there we will have to we are selecting the package elements now this package element is returning all the classes this is not what we want we want to be able to query our package element to return only a specific class so that we need to write a query now write query model get class will be the name of our model and class name type string of course and it should be of we are trying to query class here return self oh model if us get here is on members members of type a class now let us apply our OCL any class any class name so our query is ready we can use it now now let's go here in query element and from self we want to, to get the classes actually it's really accepting a parameter you want to query a class of type person so we pass our class name here we need to pass a parameter to our model let us call it my class of type string let us pass it to our query here and get now perform the mapping mm, mapping no. get, um, class to association class so our transformation is ready so what have we done we pass the class person that we want to convert the name of the class person that we want to convert into an association class and here we get the package elements from the source model we are trying to get all classes where the name is equal to my class and only those classes should be only on those classes should us perform uh, the mapping here is our mapping here is the source type class and the target will be an association class <coughs> now if you run our transformation select the source run next two one then boom. so you can see now our model our transformation is only converting the class of type 
of name person into an association class if we change it to the name of uh, the second class suppose you want now to convert the class human we change the name here to human now only the human class will be uh, transformed into an association class <coughs> select our source model select our source model transformation target to here our human class is uh, transform into association class that is it and that is what i had to show you today thank you for watching and see you in the next video tutorial with a new topic bye